Hello. My name is Ben Rosenzweig, and uh, I'm dying from heart disease. In this video, I will, one, briefly discuss my own struggles with heart disease, two, discuss and provide direct links to the substantial amount of evidence demonstrating that stem cell therapy can reverse, reverse heart disease. Uh, you'll find the associated links below. Three, clear up the common misconception that stem cells must come from fetuses. In fact, all of the several thousand stem cell clinics now operating in the United States all use adult stem cells. Four, briefly discuss how stem cell therapy can help treat a variety of other ailments, everything from painful joints to compromised immune systems. Five, discuss how to choose the stem cell therapy clinic that's right for you. And six, finally discuss my own plans to receive stem cell therapy. Now, I have a heart disease that causes me to have chronic chest pains all day, every day. It's known as microvascular disease. I also have regurgitation of the valves. And so, this pain is to the point that I can't sleep unless I take an assortment of prescription drugs, all of which come with their own host of negative side effects. Even with medications, I still get chest pains when I exercise too much, drink too much coffee, don't get enough sleep, or experience too much stress. I do my best to take care of myself as well as possible, and I've researched health and medicine for many, many years in order to make sure that I live as healthy a lifestyle as humanly possible. Regardless, as it stands now, if nothing changes, there is very little chance I'll make it past the age of 40. Worse, as I get older, my heart condition will only continue to get worse, as does and as will the pain. Which is the case with all, all, with all heart disease. It only gets worse as you get older. It doesn't get better, unless, of course, you receive something like stem cell therapy. So, yes, there is hope for me in the form of stem cell therapy. Now, as I said, discussed before, there are thousands of clinics operating in the United States, and it's even more important to note that whenever you're discussing stem cell therapy, you must clear up the common misunderstanding that stem cells must come from fetuses, from unborn babies, from aborted children. This is how stem cells were first discovered. They were first discovered in fetuses, uh, not in, in, in the board of fetuses in 1981. And when scientists first started experimenting with them, they used these embryonic stem cells, stem cells from fetuses. So a lot of people, when you discuss stem cell therapy, will immediately assume that you're talking about using embryonic stem cells, when in fact adult stem cells have been what is being what has been used for the past 20 25 years so whenever you discuss stem cell therapy if you're talking to anyone who lived through the, through the 80s you need to clear up that misconception because most people uh, still think that all stem cells must come from embryonic sources regardless as the title of this video uh, suggest stem cell therapy can indeed reverse heart disease and in some cases completely cure it. I'll link to the CNN article about the Lancet study as well as to several other news articles about similar studies and these are all studies published in peer-reviewed journals and respected cardiovascular medical journals um, and they can all be reviewed and they can all be, uh, yeah. You can all you can research all this uh, on your own, and I will provide uh, some sources to begin with to start your research if you aren't interested in receiving stem cell therapy for your heart disease. Uh, now that that being said, while there are thousands of clinics that offer stem cell therapy in the United States, there's not a single health insurance company that covers the cost of stem cell therapy. And I, don't, and I don't blame them. If they did, they'd go bankrupt. Stem cell, stem cell therapy not only reverses heart disease, it can be used to help heal almost any other damaged organ. 
It can be used to fix any dam almost any damaged joint in the body. It can fix most back problems, or at least help alleviate most back problems. It can be used to boost the immune system, so on and so forth. So since cell cell stem cells have so many applications, if insurance companies started to cover it, they soon go bankrupt. The demand would just simply just be too high, and the cost would be too high for them. But stem cell therapy uh, has gone down radically in cost uh, over the past two decades. To the point now that it will cost somewhere in the range of five to twenty-five thousand dollars. So. If you have heart disease and you're fairly well off, you can afford it, you can take out a loan um, and pay it off over the next few years. If you're dying, obviously, you know, money is not an issue. You can't take it with you to the grave. The stem cell therapy I require, which simply involves administering, administering stem cells intravenously, would cost me somewhere around $10,000. Unfortunately for me, I'm not currently in a financial position to afford the treatment. Um, hopefully that will change in the future. Of course, I should be able to afford it right now. I should have a career where I'm easily able to afford the treatment, or I should be able to take out a loan, or work two jobs for a year, well, not with my heart condition, and save up the $10,000. But my heart disease has coincided with a long history of depression, depression, anxiety, and insomnia uh, as a result of me thinking that, you know, I'm going to have chest pains, I don't have much time on this earth, so what's the point of doing anything? And, but I've recently discovered that there is indeed hope, and so I want to live. Um, and so I find myself at this juncture without a real career and a shitty credit rating, but now needing to save up this money nor so that I can live, and now that I have hope, I think I'll be able to change things around. That's the point of this whole video series, where I'll be chronicling my journey towards receiving stem cell therapy, and I'll also, dis also discuss uh, more in depth the uh, clinics, the best clinics in the United States for receiving stem cell therapy. I will be doing interviews with cardiologists, and I'll be doing in you know, interviews with an assortment of um, clinicians that have been uh, administering stem cell therapy for several decades, well at least a decade, if not two decades, and um, providing further information about stem cell therapy and its many applications, and why more people are not aware of this treatment option. So anyway, recently I have been able to cure my anxiety and de my anxiety and depression with a combination of rational and motive behavioral therapy, as well as diet and lifestyle changes, and numerous other me methods that I will get to that I will discuss in most likely my next video. I spent the last year or so working on myself in order to come overcome past traumas, and through that process I discovered what worked and didn't work for me, and for most people, what my own needs are, and what I truly want out of life. And, again, I'll go into de detail about that in my next video. Regardless, I cured my depression and anxiety, and now I want to cure my heart disease. I want to start my career, I want to start having a positive impact in the world, and that starts with this video series. I don't know if I'll be successful with this, but at the very least, I'll be able to put out information that might, if it, if it even helps one person get the treatment they need to now to no longer suffer from crippling heart disease, uh, my life will have had some meaning. So, yes, I might be able to save up enough money to cover the cost of stem cell therapy myself. I don't know. My heart condition only gets, worth, only gets worse with time, and my health makes it difficult for me to work anything more than a part-time job. And although I've cured my depression, I still often find myself struggling with motivation. Hopefully now that 
I have this purpose, this uh, video series, and this podcast that I'm now launching, um, that will no longer be an issue. However, yes, yeah, so, failing that, I'm also going to start a fundraiser, something like a GoFundMe page with the stipulation that all of the money goes to the U.S. Stem Cell Therapy Clinic in Sunrise, Florida, that cover the cost of my treatment. And so I hope, hope you'll consider helping out. Once it's ready, I'll link to that below. If not, uh, it'll be linked to in my future videos, so please consider subscribing to learn more about stem cell therapy and its many various applications. If you're not currently suffering from a chronic disease or no one in your family is suffering from a chronic disease for which stem cell therapy can help, it's still something you'll want to know for your future and for the future of your family, for the health and safety of your family. Um, and to also know where the, what, do the research and know what the best stem cell therapy clinics are and to know everything you need to know before going in to the procedure. I'm also going in this video series to discuss numerous effective methods of curing depression, anxiety, and insomnia since I've struggled with it my entire life. I've experimented with dozens, several dozens of different methods, and I found those that have the greatest efficacy uh, through personal experience and also through, you know, months and months of research and analysis. So again, it's a win-win. Even if I fail, you know, I'll still have ended my life of making a positive impact in the world. My will, my life will still have had some meaning, and at the end of the day. That's all I can ask for. That's all I have ever wanted is for my life to have some meaning, to have a some sort of positive impact in the world. And I wasted that drive in the past in codependent relationships where I was always trying to save the other person. Because um, I always wanted to help someone. You know, to escape pain, even if I couldn't escape pain myself. But now, uh, in the past year or two, I. That year, um, I determined that I needed to focus on saving myself. You know, a drowning man can't save another drowning man. And so, I'm putting all my efforts towards finally living up to my potential. You know, in seventh grade, um, I got I went to a psychiatrist because I wasn't paying attention in school. Um, they diagnosed me with ADHD, but they also found that I was reading and writing at a college level and I had an IQ of 129. In high school, I was reading uh, books that were most often read by people that had PhDs. I was reading books like The Science of Good and Evil, Why People Cheat, Share, Gossip, and Follow the Golden Rule by Michael Shermer, and Consilium's The Unity of Knowledge and The Singularity is Near. And I've also read dozens of different books on, well, hundreds of different books on dozens of different topics. Um, I have a huge amount of potential, I've always been told that, but um, due to the heart, my heart condition and the pain associated with it and the depression and anxiety and insomnia that came with it, I uh, was never really able to live up to that potential because, you know, I'd be doing it and then and started getting some chest pains, I would think, what's the point of all this? I'm not going to live long enough to have a positive impact on the world anyway. But now there's finally hope. Now I just hope that I can actually get the treatment that I need. Um, so again, if you are interested in helping me out, I'll, whenever I get, I figure out the fundraiser thing, uh, I hope you'll consider donating. I hope you consider subscribing and learning more about stem cell therapy, and also other, um, cl you know, clinically and uh, empirically proven, uh, uh, cutting-edge medical treatments that can effectively uh, reverse diseases that were currently um, only able to be treated with medications and uh, are essentially a death sentence. Now we can actually, in many cases, reverse or even cure diseases 
that we thought um, could only be we could only make we could only make the person more comfortable before their passing. Um, I find this highly fascinating in and of itself, in addition to the fact that it's directly relevant to me. And so I hope you find it fascinating as well. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, if you have any advice uh, or any insights um, or any criticisms, please comment below. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. Or I look forward to having conversations and discussions with everyone who's watching. And um, I'll put my email out there email out there for anyone that wants to email me to discuss these sort of topics further. Um, so, thank you for watching.